The mission of the United States Army Medical Material Center Korea is to provide medical logistics support to the joint forces here in Korea. So we are the theater lead agent for medical material, which means we provide all the class eight medical supplies and material. Every day we're providing all of the medical supply support for every medical facility and every medical team that's on the peninsula. When the spike of healthcare requirements in Daegu happened, we also provided that surge of supplies that were needed for medical screening and all of those uh, secondary medical requirements that happened with COVID-19. So if you see all the, uh, the, the folks at the gate uh, doing uh, temperature checks, wearing PPE, uh, the uh, quarantine centers, all that extra medical supplies and equipment is coming through this center. Obviously, uh, we are in competition with common items like gloves and masks and hand sanitizer with the rest of the world. Uh, so the global competition for those supplies is where our expertise comes in. Uh, we are the procurement site, so we do all of the buying on behalf of the government uh, for medical supplies here in, in the peninsula. So I'm very proud of our team here because what they did is they started leaning forward uh, back in January and they started purchasing. Uh, they started slowly increasing our stock levels. So the day the outbreak happened here, we had medical material to provide to the force. Um, we process over 50 tons almost daily. We've tripled the amount that we purchased back to the States in Class 8. So in one day, I had a team in, we purchased $2.2 .2 million worth of Class 8, as opposed to 110000 which we typically spend in a day. So just the volume of work that we push out has changed. The commitment that our employees have shown to do the extra work where it's needed. Uh, our soldiers' ability to drive on and shift into a 24-hour operation in some cases. Uh, the hours that we put on the road to get that urgent supply to where it needs to be, especially uh, at the outset of all of this. Uh, and absolutely, our staff's ability to leverage all of the resources across the pen to rally behind our effort. Uh, we've recently had uh, air supply request movements uh, moving throughout the peninsula with the support of the uh, second cab. Uh, so the second infantry division is behind us. The 19th DSC provides us all of these great logistics vehicles uh, through their ground logistics contracting capability. So we have all of these assets that right now feel like they're supporting United States Army Medical Material Center Korea. And that's a great feeling to know that we are being taken care of so that we can take care of the force.